Here we are ready to do yet another crochet provisional cast on. I've got my loose slip knot near the beginning of my provisional yarn and I'm going to make my first couple of provisional stitches. Simply flipping the yarn behind the needle, reaching over and grabbing. Now notice I'm grabbing with my hook pointing towards me. Now I'm going to grab in a more natural manner for crocheters. If you're a crocheter, your inclination is more likely to grab the yarn with the hook pointing up, away from you. Then you can rotate the hook around and pull it through. Flip the yarn, hook from underneath, rotate the hook, and it's a lot easier to bring the loop through. It's less likely to fall off the needle. In terms of a provisional edge, it doesn't matter in the least which you choose to do, or even if you choose to mix them. But can you see the difference in the appearance underneath? Where I hooked with my hook facing me, my chain is untwisted. And where I've hooked um, in the crochet manner from underneath and rotated it, I've got a twisted chain underneath. It doesn't matter in the least as far as the knitting is concerned but it does if we end up using this as a permanent cast on edge. Now there's one other way of holding it, well there's millions of other ways of holding it, but some knitters who have never crocheted prefer to hold the yarn on the right hand side and this way they can sort of knit their stitches on so they flip the yarn around the needle and almost treat their crochet hook like a right hand knitting needle. It's all a matter of what you prefer. And don't forget your unravel me from this end pigtail, if it's going to be a provisional edge. If it's not going to be a provisional edge, if this was actually going to be a pink garment, I could make all but one of the stitches that I wanted for the project and then take the very final one from the crochet hook and pop it on the needle. But, and this would be the base of our knitting, this would be a cast on edge so this is when the provisional becomes known as the cast off cast on. But it's important in this case to be consistent with your direction of hooking so that you get a nice neat edge. It's also important if it's going to be a permanent edge to pay attention to the size of your crochet hook and try and keep your stitches even. But now I could proceed and just work my garment in pink and this edge looks very much like a bound off edge and that can be useful on something like a scarf where the two edges are in close proximity to one another. <laughs> 